Youth Learner here with uh, Menlo School standout uh, Arya Koshek, uh, 1659 and change uh, in the first girls varsity race uh, at the San Francisco Lowell Invitational. We're at Golden Gate Park. Course measuring right around uh, 2.78, 2.8 uh, uh, miles, uh, but obviously uh, the most important thing is we added an entire Menlo group around her and obviously uh, Arya uh, smiling, uh, you know, up, uh, uplifted, uh, enjoying the process. Like just how significant is where you feel like you're at emotionally at this time of year you know in, in comparison uh to uh, you know not just september of of last season but really at any point of last season because obviously you were having to you know carry a heavy weight uh, yeah. and, a, you know, and a pretty significant burden all by yourself are you yeah i think you know this year i really learned it's so important to be positive and going into races and i think i only feel like i didn't i did my best because of that but my whole team could feel that energy and improve their performances as well so this year my main goal going in is really unifying our team with positivity and confidence um, which is something girls obviously tend to lack in cross country so that was you know my main intention and I really do think it worked and helped our team get to second most definitely in, uh, in, in terms of you know, George really kind of wanting to, uh, to tick off every box obviously this is more of a strength course you know in a couple of weeks you know Woodbridge you know on a Friday night under the lights will be you know speed and right. uh, you know and just you know electricity and a great environment you know just kind of making sure that the group is uh, is you know aware and, and familiar of, of every scenario you know yeah. every, every, every challenge you know hills flat tangents undulations you know sharp corners or whatever as, as you get ready for crystal in the postseason as you as you get ready for Woodward Park and whatnot like how you know I mean you you've seen it before but, yeah. for, but for the other ones that maybe aren't as familiar with it with that setting up like how, how valuable is it that, that not only Arya Koshek but the whole Menlo group girls and guys uh, you know uh, there's like, there's no surprises by the time we get to November yeah I think I think it's so important to know your strengths and weaknesses because I think one thing that my coaches coach George and coach Sally have done a great job with is really honing in on my weaknesses during the summer and improving that so today for example my main goal was to go into the race and actually go moderate as my big weakness last year was going out too fast and I think that's something that our coaches have done with every single one of our um, athletes and it's just truly improved our performances this year and I think especially with Lowell I could feel the difference working the hills not going out too fast and it really just improved my performance because it, in, in the past uh, and again I love the courage and I love the ambition yeah uh, but obviously you would have seen Ani Stieg there and would have been yep. like you know, like you know in the first K or you know in the in the first mile like I, I got, yeah, got to get it. it was like what you know what I saw not only just like the, uh, the the energy but you know but the, but the happiness was the fact that it's like that Arya Koshek was running her race right. and not anybody else's right. race like, I mean is, is that something that you that you really feel like is becoming more familiar and and, and 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 more rhythmic and more natural for you Arya yeah I think something really important that I've learned is that yes cross country is a team sport and the team aspect is really important but knowing yourself and knowing how you run is also just as important so I think today going to the race I knew what my biggest fears were I knew what I needed to work on and I I really just focused on that and tried to just block everyone out and focus on my race and my goal. I get to ask the guys not only from your team, yeah. obviously, you know, uh, Crystal, uh, Nueva, and others, like just what a blessing it is to be in the Central Coast section and to be in Division Five yeah. right now because it's probably the, uh, the deepest and the best it's ever been. I, uh, I don't ask it enough of amazing women like you Thanks. or Anna Salter, you know, or any of the women at Castileja or whatever. Like, uh, how, how special is it to be, you know, not only in your, you know, in WBAL but obviously in CCS Division uh, Division Five right now and Division Five in general because, you know, uh, I mean, while there's always been elite athletes, you know, among the top you know, two or three in a given section or, 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 or in the state, it's never been this deep. How meaningful right. is that for you? I think it's so meaningful. I know we do, we are in typically the smaller school races, but I think it's so important to find people in other smaller schools and, you know, work with them. And I think that's where the real, like, greatness of cross country comes from. It's actually using other people from other teams to help you improve your own performances. So I think that's been such an important and key factor this year for me. Awesome. Yeah. Stay healthy, continue to uh, enjoy the process. Uh, love what we're seeing so far from you and the group and uh, wish you all the best in a couple of weeks under the lights at Woodbridge. Congrats. Thank you so much.